Hi, I hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title of this video, we're gonna be going through my Big Lots makeup finds. A couple of them are like advent calendars, which we're gonna be unboxing in this video. If you do not want spoilers, of course, don't watch. But I'm just gonna open them up. We're gonna see what we got in each one. I got one from LA Colors as well as one from Taste Beauty, and also a couple other things that I purchased from Big Lots yesterday. And also, if you wanna see where I got this look, I actually just filmed a video using the 90s Baby Cosmetics, the Sanderson Sisters palette. So pretty. So if you want to see how I got this look, then go ahead and watch that. I believe that's already up, so it's going to be linked down below. But before that, don't forget, if you like drugs and makeup, go ahead and stick around, subscribe, maybe hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload. And if you could like the video, if you like it, and the video is going to start right now. Before we get into the advent calendars, I'm going to be popping up some pictures of some makeup finds, things that I saw at the Big Lots but that I didn't pick up. The first item that I want to talk about is this hand lotion. So this is the Sugar Cookie Scented Hand Cream and how cute is she? It did come in a couple other variations which I'll have on the screen so you can see. These are so cute. Oh my god, I'm so excited for Christmas time. I know it's a little early to be talking about that but these are already available at Big Lots so I want you guys, if you guys like hand creams, get your hands on them they all come in different scents i actually did use this today and it feels very nice and hydrating to the hands it's not too thin where it just kind of blends away and it's not like overly thick either where it just kind of stays in the hand you keep going it's still there it was a nice like perfect in between kind of lotion so i really enjoyed this and if you like hand creams definitely check them out at big lots i also forgot to mention this is only one dollar so yeah Next product I purchased, it was actually like a repurchase, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. Since I haven't been wearing lashes to work, this was one of my top mascaras from what I remember. So I went ahead and purchased this again, and this did retail for $9.99 at Big Lot. Before we get into the LA Colors Advent Calendar, I'm going to take a look at the Taste Beauty Advent Calendar. And this did retail for $5 at my local Big Lots. I, for one, am super excited to unbox this one because Taste Beauty is one of my favorite brands, I'd say, lip balm-wise. They have a lot of, like, Taste Beauty at five below. They come out with really amazing packaging. It's just, they're so creative. They also did have a couple of Taste Beauty lip balms at Big Lots as well. So we're going to go ahead and open number one. So interesting. So it did come with this little gingerbread man situation not sure what this is it feels like a like a nail file like on this side it's like smooth but on the back it's like ridgy i'm thinking this is a nail file let me give you guys an up close look at the little gingerbread man he's so cute okay okay girl first item i honestly really like it's different i've never seen a nail file like this so cute there's like a bite taken out of him so <laughs> this is adorable okay let's see what's in door number two in door number two we did get a mini nail polish and this is the cherry scented nail polish so there's a close-up look at that that's honestly super cute this shade is stunning we're gonna see if it actually does have a scent to it this is a really nice size too it's like not too small and not too big okay so it smells like nail polish with a hint of cherry but nothing like crazy it doesn't like it's not like overly scented this product is actually really cute i like the size really nice color so so far so good with this box in door number three we got a i believe this is a lip gloss yes yeah, strawberry flavored lip gloss and it has a little sloth hanging from there i'm gonna give you guys a close-up look of course we're gonna get a lot of lip balms is what i'm guessing this gloss actually looks really nice. It looks like a really pretty color. So, so far, so good. I am definitely going to get use out of everything so far from this box. Door number four had another lip gloss. This one's kind of cute. It's giving me vibes of the ones from the Dollar Tree that I have. The Recess and Hershey's one honestly looks exactly like it. It's just a pink one. And this is the Frosting Flavored Lip Gloss. It comes with a little picture of a unicorn. It's actually really cute. Those glosses are nice. You just don't really get a lot of product in them. And they also smell really good, so I want to see how this one smells really good. Of course, I'm going to get some use out of this as well. But so far, I'm honestly really impressed. Door number five has this product here, which I don't know. Is it a bracelet? Is it for your hair? I think this is like a hair band, like a colorful hair band. That's really cute. I think this box would be perfect for anybody with kids. You want to gift it to your kids? It's going to come in handy. That's so pretty. Door number six comes with a lip balm. All right, I kind of like that they didn't start off right off the bat with lip balm. So this one is the peppermint flavored lip balm. It has a little, I believe that's called like a Cherokee or something. I don't know. But there's a bird on it. So there's a look at that. It is like a green kind of lip balm. Oh, it smells like peppermint. 
It smells really good. Seven has a little piggy on it. Okay, this one's adorable. It has that little gingerbread man again with a bite taken out of his head. This is a gingerbread flavored lip balm. This is so cute. I love this box so far. Honestly, I'm loving everything that we've gotten. And this one is probably my favorite one. I think he's just so cute. And the lip balm is like a brown kind of shade. Oh yeah, it smells so good. And it says that it's gingerbread flavored. So I can't wait to try this one out. So this is their chocolate flavored lip balm. It has a little dinosaur on it. There's a look at that. So cute. Love lip balm. So I'm super excited about this box. You can even like gift the lip balms that you don't use to your like kids or your family or whatever. This is so cute. Oh my God. And they all smell so good. So let's recap so far. Three lip balms two lip glosses and two like nail products all right so this one's interesting in number nine we did get some nail stickers yeah nail stickers from taste beauty it comes with a bunch of like christmasy type of situation so i love press on nails and sometimes they don't come with any type of like design on them so this would be really cute just to toss on my fake nails or whatever so that's a really nice addition definitely gonna get use out of these slot number 10 was bigger so i was expecting something else but we got more stickers so these are just like regular stickers not nail stickers and these are cute too i was hoping something else but this is cute slot number 11 is a shimmer lip gloss and it has a little unicorn on it so this one does come in a tub which is honestly not my favorite kind of way to throw on a lip balm but this says it is a shimmer lip balm i don't really see there's like barely any specks of glitter in there oh this smells so good i'm still gonna use it like i'm not gonna toss it or anything but this is not my favorite style to throw on i don't know we'll see what i think it smells so good so i'm gonna give you guys a up close look at that it's a nice purple shade so opening the last one which is number 12 okay i'm not that excited for this one this one is like little nails i'm not gonna use this <laughs> so this is like for children okay children's size nails but they don't even look that like good they're gonna look messy you know even if the kids are gonna put them on like they're just not looking that cute the glitter is like everywhere so this is something that i'm gonna toss i'm a little disappointed by this last product but everything else overall let's see we got four nail products which was the little nails i'm not going to use i'm probably going to toss the nail stickers for sure i'm going to use the nail file for sure i'm going to use and the little nail polish i could definitely use this is such a pretty color this product i'm kind of meh about but i'm still going to use them two lip glosses for sure i'm going to use them which is a little sloth one and the little unicorn the three lip balms of course i'm going to get use out of them as well as the shimmer one in the tub so overall this was five dollars do I think it was worth it? Honestly, I think it was for a little girl. I think she's gonna love everything in here, especially if you do it the way you're supposed to, which is day by day. Um, This is really cute and yeah, I think this was definitely worth $5, but it's definitely meant for children. Oh, also the hair band, I forgot about it. That was actually really cute too. So we're gonna talk about the Ellie Colors Advent Calendar. This one also comes with 12 pieces as well and it did retail for $10, I believe. Yeah, I think this one did retail for 10, but it does come with makeup items. So we're gonna start off with door number one. So door number one does come with a lipstick. This is their creamy lipstick, no shade name, but this looks like a really pretty color. So there's a look at that. Honestly, that's really pretty for day number one. Really nice item to choose. So door number two is like a little tiny one. So let's see what's in here. All right, so door number two did have a loose eyeshadow and this is in again no name it just says ellie colors loose eyeshadow no specific shade or anything but this color looks really pretty i'm definitely going to get use out of this looks like a nice champagne kind of tone and it is like a loose pigment there is no type of barrier to it as soon as you open it it's just all there yeah this is definitely something i'm going to get use out of it's a really pretty color door number three does come with another lipstick and again no shade name but this is just another creamy lipstick and this one is a deeper kind of shade the look at that one again that's a really nice addition even though i don't really wear lipsticks often i really like getting them in 
these types of boxes honestly i'm gonna get use out of them or i can give them away to my sister but these are really pretty shades that they chose for the box oh i love that day number four comes with an ellie colors blush again no shade name on it but that color looks so pretty there's a closer look at that so this is definitely not gonna work out for a couple skin tones i think it looks okay for me honestly oh yeah that looks like a really pretty shade and honestly it's giving me vibes of the aoa studio perfect pressed blushes in the shade fino i just purchased that one from um chamisse and it's giving me vibes of that blush it's kind of like a rosy kind of neutral tone so there it is next to the highlight oh that's really pretty i'm really excited about the addition of a blush in this box on the back of the advent calendars it does give you a kind of picture of what comes in the advent calendar i don't like to look at that just so it can be surprised so i'm super excited that we got a blush in here day number five we got a lip balm i'm so excited so this is the ellie colors lip balm in vanilla scent this is so cute. It has like a bunch of little lips on it. This is adorable. I'm so excited about this product. Just smells like vanilla. Really pretty. Definitely going to get use out of this. Day number six, we got a lip gloss. And this is like a pretty kind of pinky shimmery tone. This is honestly something I'm definitely going to get use out of. This is so pretty. Let's see if it has any type of smell to it. No. Kind of has a hint of vanilla to it. This is so cute. Let's do a little bit of a recap while we're ahead. I have two lipsticks. We have a gloss, one lip balm, one loose eyeshadow, as well as a blush. Okay, so we got a lip gloss in door number seven. And this is a really pretty shade. I'm definitely going to get use out of this one. Again, I don't like that they added no names to these products. They're just kind of like, uh, I don't know. It's weird. Um, but this is a really pretty color again i'm definitely going to get use out of this and that shade is so nice as well even though the dispenser is not my favorite i think the color is stunning so i'm definitely going to get use out of this it's definitely a very pigmented gloss which is it's just nice it feels like a nice quality gloss Ooh, number eight is an eyeliner this is ellie colors eyeliner pencil i'm guessing it's in a black shade yes okay so it is a pencil liner Oh, that looks so promising. So I'm definitely excited about this product here. I love using eyeliner. You guys know I do my wing every day. I love adding that kind of black liner on the lower lash line just to add to the smokiness. And I'm super excited about this. I'm definitely going to get use out of this product here. Okay, another lip gloss. And this one is in a brown shade. Of course, I'm going to get use out of it. But I was expecting something else. There's a couple of like repeated items so so far we got a pinky tone and we got this brown tone but again i am going to get used out of this i love um nude lips so let's see how this one looks oh yeah that's pretty there's that shade there again no shade names or anything but that's a really pretty color item number 10 is a nail polish and this one again no name to it but this is a really pretty shade especially for fall oh my gosh this is actually really nice the packaging is cute i think the shade is really perfect i love it i think they did a good job with the selection of the color it's just pretty it almost looks like an orangey pinky kind of nail polish i can't wait to use this one we got a, another lip gloss but this one does come in that other like packaging so we did already get a pinky one so now there's like this iridescent one this looks so beautiful it almost has a tinge of like green to it so pretty i don't even think i swatched this one let me give them a swatch even though they're just glosses they probably look similar on the hand but why not oh wow and when you swatch it it looks almost purple so there are both swatches there again they're just glosses but on the lips i'm sure it comes off different but the one that we just got this one has a tinge it looks like green in the tube but then when you swatch it it almost looks purple so can't wait to use this on the lips and then this one is just like a nice pinky clear kind of gloss now we're to the last one we're on 12 so hopefully this wows us all right so it does come with a little applicator as well as an eyeshadow palette so that's really exciting i love that they added an eyeshadow palette especially on the last day of the you know the opening or whatever um really pretty so this is just their nude eyeshadow palette from la colors i love the shades that they chose this is a perfect palette to add to this box let me know what you think down below so pretty give these shades a couple swatches oh my gosh <gasps> look at that shade there that's so pigmented 
even the brown shade oh my gosh i'm really impressed i really can't wait to use this on the eyes let me know what you think of the box down below i am beyond impressed so we're just going to quickly recap the box the lip balm for sure i'm going to use we got two lipsticks which i'm going to use both shades are stunning we got two lip glosses in this type of packaging two more lip glosses in this type of packaging which i really like with a dofa applicator we got a single loose shadow which i know i'm gonna get used out of this is such a pretty color we got an eyeliner we got a blush a nail polish and an eyeshadow palette overall ten dollars is definitely worth this box i'm so glad that i picked it up they added a lot of amazing products i wish there wasn't as many lip glosses as there was but i'm still going to use all of them i think all the shades and everything was really nice let me know what you think down below would you pick it up are you going to pick it up at big lots let me know down below in the comments and we made it to the end so we made it to the end i hope you enjoyed watching as much as i enjoyed from this video today everything that i talked about on the names of the prices are going to be down below as well as any videos that i mentioned throughout this video or videos that i uploaded last week don't forget to upload three times a week on tuesday thursday and sunday so if you could stick around that would be amazing i have my insta handle displayed on the screen i post a lot of makeup finds from jokes are high end so if that interests you go ahead and follow me there and it'd be so amazing if you could like and subscribe of course you don't have to you're your own person and you make your own decisions but it wouldn't hurt to give this video a like and i'll see you guys on the next one bye